So now we will see recursive functions in JavaScript. So guys, basically the recursion is the term that is used when the function calls itself from within its body. So guys, basically whenever we are going to make a function call from within its definition, that is the function body, then the term that is used is called a recursion and we call it as a recursive function. So guys, basically recursion can be very useful in order to complete some mathematical calculations and this we are going to check with the help of example as well we are going to see how we can find the factorial of a number by using the recursive function in javascript to understand how we can use recursion in javascript in order to complete our task so guys basically this is the syntax as you can see previously we had seen how we can provide the function definition so over here we have the function keyword followed by the name of the function and then we can provide the optional parameters inside the open and close parenthesis over here and then guys after this inside the open and close curly braces we will have certain lines of code over here and then at some point within the function definition we are going to call this function with the help of the function name again and also pass those parameters that are being expected by the function over here so guys basically this is the simple syntax of the recursive function we are going to understand it in a better way by using the example in vs code so guys it is very important to note that there should be a breaking point to be defined within the function in order to stop the recursion or else a recursive function will execute itself indefinitely so guys let us check the recursive functions with the help of example in vs code over here so first of all we will provide the function keyword in this case and let's say we provide the name of the function as factorial because we are going to find the factorial of a number now guys how do we find the factorial of a number so basically let's say if you want to find the factorial of the number that is 4 in this case so basically the 4 number will be multiplied by the previous number that is 3 so we multiply it by 3 and then again we multiply this result by 2 over here which is the previous number that is 3 minus 1 it is equal to 2 over here and then again in the end we multiply this result by 1 in this case so guys basically you can see that 24 is the result and this is the result of the factorial of the number 4 over here so guys similarly if you want to find the factorial of 10 then you have to consider 10 and then you need to multiply it by the number that is 10 minus 1 which is equal equal to 9 in this case and then multiplied by 8 and then so on you have to go in the reverse order and you have to reach the number that is 1 over here so guys basically this is the way that we find the factorial in mathematics so over here what we will do is simply we are going to accept one parameter over here that is number in this case and then guys inside the open and close parenthesis what we want to do is we need to check whether this particular number is it equal to 1 so basically we provide the if condition and then inside the parenthesis we provide a number variable and then we have to use the logical operator that is equal to equal to 1 in this case so guys basically the number will be checked whether is it equal to 1 right now if yes then we have to return the result that is 1 over here so guys basically we use the return statement in order to go back to the previous function call in this case so guys i'll make you understand how this particular line of code will work but in this case we are simply providing the breakpoint that this is the last number after which you don't have to call the factorial function once again from the function definition of this particular factorial function so guys after this what we want to do is simply we can use the number that is provided as the parameter in this case so let's say if the number that is passed by the function call is 4 in this case so simply we have to provide the number that is 4 and then we need to multiply it by the number that is 3 in this case so guys instead of providing this number that is 3 simply we are going to call this function that is factorial over here so in this case we provide the factorial and this time we need to provide the number minus 1 expression so basically what exactly is happening over here is number is equal to 4 and then again we are calling this factorial function which is going to pass the number it is equal to 3 this time so guys again the control flow will come over here inside the factorial function and then it will check whether number is equal to 1 no in this case so again it will go over here number is equal to 3 this time which will be multiplied by the factorial of number minus 1 so the parameter that will be passed will be equal to 2 over here so guys basically this is the expression that is going to be continuously executed after each 
call of the function factorial so guys over here we have to provide the return statement in this case so let us understand how this particular function will work with the help of example over here so guys what will happen in this case is when we provide factorial of the number that is 4 over here so basically we are calling this function with the name factorial in this case and we are providing the parameter that is 4 so let us understand how it works so during the first call the number will be equal to 4 over here and is number equal to 1 no in this case so the control flow will not not return 1 in this case but it will come over here and it will check this particular expression that is number multiplied by factorial of number minus 1 so in this case what will happen is 4 multiplied by factorial of number minus 1 which will be equal to 3 this time so basically this particular expression will be executed as you can see I have commented out this line of code so this is the expression that will be executed now again what will happen is let me just copy this line of code over here and let us expand this particular function call that is factorial of 3 now guys the control flow comes over here again in which case number will be equal to 3 now so is number equal to 1 this time no in this case so again number multiplied by factorial of number minus 1 will be executed so instead of factorial of 3 we have to replace it by number multiplied by factorial of number minus 1 when number is equal to 3 this time so we will replace the number by 3 so 3 minus 1 it will be equal to 2 this time so again we will provide the number as 2 now let me just copy this line of code once again over here and paste it in this case so again we will expand this particular section that is factorial of 2 so guys over here the control flow goes back again when number is equal to 2 this time so is number equal to 1 no in this case so again this particular expression will be executed so basically let me just copy this expression and paste it over here instead of factorial of 2 in which case the number is equal to 2 this time so we replace the number value by 2 and 2 minus 1 it is equal to 1 this time so guys basically in the end factorial of 1 will be called so as you can see when the number is equal to 1 the return statement will help us in order to return the result that is 1 over here so simply we have to replace this particular factorial of 1 by one number so as you can see these are the numbers that will get multiplied and ultimately we will get the result which can be stored on the left hand side during the function call over here so guys basically this is the expression that is getting executed when we are providing the parameter for this factorial function as 4 this time so guys let me just include the result on the left hand side as well so that we can store the result of this particular function call and simply we can provide the console.log statement over here let me just calculate the factorial of 4 once again over here so 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and then when we press equal to as you can see 24 is the answer and that is what we must get when we print the value of the result variable in this case so guys simply we will say factorial result is and then followed by dollar symbol and inside the open and close curly braces we will provide the variable name that is result in this case so let me just save this file now and try running this code so basically we are going to use the node command over here followed by the name of the javascript file so as you can see factorial result is 24 and that is what we have got using the calculator as well what will be the result of factorial of 5 so guys basically when we provide factorial of 5 over here simply we need to multiply this result by 5 in this case because that is the number that is missing over here in this particular expression so when we multiply it by 5 we get the answer as 120 over here so let us check that as well when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here as you can see factorial result is 120 in this case so guys basically we are using the recursive call over here that is this particular factorial function is getting called from within its function body over here in order to complete certain mathematical expression guys we can provide any of the numbers over here so let's say when we provide the number 10 it will provide us the bigger number as the result so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here as you can see factorial result is 362880 in this case when we provide another number let's say when we provide 15 in this case let me just run this code once again over here so as you can see this is the result in this case so guys what will be the result when we provide the factorial of 3 in this case comment in the comment section below what will be the output when we provide factorial of 3 let us see whether your answer is correct or not 
please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to talk about an exercise using the functions in javascript so stay tuned